Hey, what's up? It's always me, Johnny, and today we are going to talk about the Apple presentation and in specific of the new iPhones 13s and actually if they are worth it or maybe if they are any better compared to the 12. But before that, let's roll the intro. <laughs> So first of all, I'm not gonna go through all the Apple conference and presentation, of course, because we all have seen it probably. So you will not see any new thing on the on this video, of course, and you probably already have seen it uh, entirely. So here you will not find probably anything else, but we are gonna talk about the new iPhones 13 and if they are a real upgrade to the 12. But before, let's wrap it up the Apple presentation and let's see what they have just presented. So they went through the iPad on the base model and also they went through the iPad mini, so a new iPad mini that I saw a lot of people interested in this one. I am not actually a tablet person, so I am not in any kind interested on these uh, tablets. Then they presented the Apple Watch here too. I'm not a fan of the Apple Watch and the design and also the system of the Apple Watch. So I don't like it too much. And I've seen it that it is pretty much the same one as the older model. So no reason to talk about that. And also somebody was expecting the new AirPods, but they didn't came out yet and probably they will announce it also with the new MacBooks that uh, they are coming with the October event of Apple, probably, but who knows? So we have to wait and see that. But the most important thing of this presentation was the last thing, of course, and it was the new iPhone 13. And so they have announced it like last year four models. So you have the mini, you have the iPhone 13, you have the Pro and the Pro Max, of course. And first of all, let's see what is new about these new smartphones. So I am gonna say that this is not really a new model. So it is not like a jump like the 11 to the 12, but it is like more of a 12S, we can say. So it's just a fresh upgrade of the 12, but let's see all the new technical stuff of these new phones. So we have, of course, new processor, so A15 Bionic. They say that it is like 50% faster than the competition, that we don't know what competition is. So it's just a random data, in my opinion. And we have a brighter screen, so they have like peak brightness of 1200 nits, that it is a very good thing because when you're using mostly the phone under the sunlight, that brightness will be very, very useful. Then we have ProMotion, so 120 hours on the Pro model of the new iPhones. So we have 120 hours only on the Pro version and the Pro Max. Then we have 20% smaller notch on the screen that it is not a very big percentage, but it is something maybe next year they will do something about the notch because I personally hate it. So then of course, like every year we have new colors and we have the hero colors of the pro version. So we have like this uh, light blue, we can say. So it's a particular color. You can see it on the screen. Then we have a slightly more powerful GPU on the pro model like the MacBooks of the last year generation with the M1, because the MacBook Pro that I have right here, actually, it has uh, one more core on the GPU than the MacBook Air, for example. And this year it is the same thing because we have one less core on the 13 mini and on the 13, but on the Pro models, we have like a five core GPU with 30% more power on the graphics. We have new cameras on the 13 and the 13 mini. So we have a wider aperture that results in uh, more light coming to the sensor. And this is of course a very good thing because you can get like uh, better photos. And also you have like sensor shift on the base model too. So the mini and the 13. So that is why you have the diagonal camera position on the back because the sensor shift, it is a big thing to put in your phone. So you have like the diagonal uh, camera setup to just set up perfectly the two sensors. They are pretty much close. 
and so the sensor shift that was only on the Pro Max last year, now you can find it on pretty much every model. So the Mini, the 13, the Pro and the Pro Max, of course. So this is a good thing. I mean, it is not an epic camera stabilization system, but it is something and it is a very good thing that they have implemented on every smartphone they do. You have cinematic mode that you can basically just adjust the focus, like also after uh, the shot in a very seamless way. And it is a very cool feature, actually. I do want to try that. And also they said that you can shoot it only with uh, 1080p and 30fps. There is a little bit of a compromise, but we will see how it is anyway. We have the same price as the last year that, of course, this was expected. But this year we don't have any more the 64 gigabytes model that was pretty much useless. I mean, we are almost an in 2022 and they still had some model with 64 gigabytes that was pretty much ridiculous in my opinion and we have one more important thing that it is battery life so we have a bigger battery and a more efficient processor i guess and we have like an hour and a half more battery juice on the 13 mini and the 13 pro and on the pro max and the standard version we have like two and a half more hours of screen time so this is a very good improvement on paper of course we still have to try all of these models but we are hoping for good of course then we have more camera upgrade on the pro model because they have to feel like more pro i mean they're called pro for a reason so we have like better camera aperture so a wider aperture on the cameras and also this year on the super wide angle we have a macro lens that could be very very interesting for the quality and all of that and also the zoom lens this year it is from a 3x zoom so it is a small improvement but it does make sense in a way we have also a little bit more of customization so you can have more fun on the camera app of the phone because you have for example some kind of filters when you shoot a photo and that could be somewhat interesting i mean the camera app on the iphones it is pretty standard and pretty boring sometime i mean it took like great photos and the best video overall on the smartphones but it is pretty boring actually and those were pretty much all the new stuff on these new smartphones by apple and of course we have still some negatives because yes we we got like 120 hertz screen that it is a very good thing we have like more battery life and stuff like that but we still have the lightning port that i don't know why they still keeping that there is no reason for that because they have also usb-c port on their ipad and on the macbooks so i don't know why they do that it is a no sense uh, decision <laughs> and and actually they don't even include the charger in the box so you have only uh, a lightning port to a usb-c to charge your phone and if you don't have like a power brick with the USB-C connection you have to buy that also of course and still we have like a very big notch on the top of the screen that I mean yes it is smaller but it is still there and it is pretty big in my opinion I mean I am used to um, Android phones that pretty much we are coming to a point that there is no more cameras on the screen because it is like under the screen so Apple it is like a little bit behind on that I mean yes you have face ID and all of that stuff but uh, I think they could do better and they will do maybe next year probably but still let's go back to the first question so they are like any better they worth the upgrade maybe to the from the 12 to the 13 and I mean yes and no I mean if you have like the 12 Pro Max I think you don't have any reason to do an upgrade like that but if I have to choose one to buy for example and especially I can see a lot of people that comes especially from Android that uh, will be buying like the Pro version because it is the most interesting one I mean you have one more lens to do some shoot because most of the people buying the Pro and the Pro Max will be interested in the cameras so they will be buying that version for the camera and so you will be buying probably the Pro in my opinion because it has pretty much 
most of the feature that the others get and you still have fair price we can say that it is not high as the pro max and also you can have like a little bit more of battery life because i mean it's bigger so you have a better screen and also you can have like a brighter screen because yes they can reach all the same peak brightness but on their standards they can reach uh, for the 13 mini and the 13 they can reach only 800 nits and the pro and the pro max they can reach a thousand nits on the maybe if you are in a room like me right now i can reach for example a thousand nits with the pro and pro max and only 800 nits for the 13 mini and the 13. I mean, it is a slight difference, but also if you consider the price difference between the 13 and the Pro, I mean, it doesn't make pretty much any sense to buy the normal version unless you are not interested into a uh, telezoom or maybe some more feature with the camera and also the screen and some more battery life. If you are not interested into those characteristics, and you want like a smaller phone, of course, because that is a very important thing to consider. You can go also for the 13. I don't see a point to buy the 13 mini. I mean, it was cool last year, but this year I don't see any big improvement on that phone. So that was my opinion and my tips to buy the new iPhone 13s if you were interested into that. So. If you did like this video just hit a like down below and also if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel just drop it down below because i mean it's free so you will not lose anything so that being said thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye for now oh and i almost forgot let me know down below what do you think about this new iphone 13s type it down below your opinion bye Thank you.